Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 52, first round match, oh wow, a pitch invasion, between Eludius and his Chaos Dwarves and Halligun and his High Elves. In the booth with me is mostly Kalon G, but maybe Elliot and maybe Jack Bull. Hello! <laughs> uh, hello, I'm here! <laughs> welcome to the Kalon Show, uh, where I have been talking non-stop for, you know, a while. I'm still looking at videos of the turd beta. Yeah, the turd beta. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh funnily enough, that's what we could call trends fan. <laughs> <laughs> the turd beta. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> you killed Kalon. <laughs> I killed myself as well. Oh my god. Oh, dude, that's fucking brilliant. Um. Okay, okay, we've got a fun game between uh, uh, Ludius and his uh, Chorfs, uh, mm. which are a little bit undercooked. He's missing two dwarves, one of whom is the pilot. Uh, well, both have, both have guard. One of them is uh, Claw Mighty as well as missing. Does have another Claw Mighty uh, still available. Bull, bulls are a little bit... Oh, the, these are nice bulls. Um, got a lot of skills on those hobgoblins. And he's up against Halagon, uh, Halagon and his uh, High Elves. Uh, mm. And it's not a fantastically uh, amazing uh, high elf team, but uh, still has the business to deal with all of this. That mm. pitch invasion, however, is going to be, uh, well, wasn't nice. It's going to be very, very tricky for him to pull back from this. Yeah, brutal, because it exposed, like, oh. the, the, the pitch invasion exposed the strength four who gets blitzed. I mean, he could have protected the strength four, but didn't. And yeah. then gets blitzed and fouled and oh. removed. Um, so just a just a KO is something at least because it's uh, not going to be a game ender, um, but yeah, and did manage to at least get the ball, but uh, probably going to have to push pretty hard on this. There's a lot of guys committed to that foul over on the left hand side, yeah. um, so. And Halagon yeah, no, does no, have the no, wizard. Like he's he's, to, he's yep. got a wizard and a bro uh, babe. A wizard and two babes. Wizard and two babes. Wow. Um, so he's down two fifty. Mm. Yeah, he hasn't got much of a team, has he, really? He mostly just had that no. strength guy. Only 11 players. Yeah, yeah only 11. And 11 only as a result of the two loners as well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, three loners, I tell, I tell a lie. Three I'm loners. Oh, yeah, useful, three, three of them. Imagine if yeah. halflings had those. Well, hey. Right? Yeah. No, but th those trees aren't loners. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine. Oh. Whoa. Right. Jesus. Man, that was fucking funny. Yeah. Yep. And there's another Kaz. Oh. And Ouch. Sweltering heat as well. And the sweltering heat as well. Oh, into a niggle as well. No. It was just a, one of the loners, though, was it? No, no, it's a wrestler. Ugh. All right, Jim, what percentage would you put this game at? I'd say this is about, um, well, I would say 81% to the chorfs right now on teams and um, situation. However,. I think Halligun is better at Blood Bowl than Eludius, and he does have a wizard. So those two things combined probably puts it at probably 60% to Chorfs. That's absolutely outrageous. 61.3. <laughs> oh, uniquely, uniquely, that is exactly Elliot's win percentage with his vampire team. Oh, wow. I mean, that record is... That Not record a 50% is vampire coach anymore! Woo! Go Elliot! Go Elliot! <laughs> yeah, no, that record is... Um, I mean, I'd be really happy with it. Mm. That yeah. does not fun with confidence. I would be as well. I well, would it's be a good well. thing that Elliot's uh, standards aren't as low as yours, Kalon. Well, exactly that, yeah. <laughs> Elliot, the man who is still... Uh, watch this. Elliot, do you remember that time you were playing Halflings and you lost that one game? Oh my god, that was outrageous. Yeah. <laughs> to Chaos Dwarfs as well. You imagine, imagine losing a game. Yeah, it's great. It's Africa. great when Elliot has like a 22 2 1 record and he yeah. like, he's like, this record's horrendous. Oh, I should have should won that one game. Oh, so so annoyed. Yeah, I, I lost one game out of 20 with a lizard men once, and that was like. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like, imagine losing that. with lizard men. Yeah. Yeah, mm. you were you were. So, yeah, to so be annoyed. fair, to be fair, I'm with you on that one, Elliot. If I, <laughs> if I lose with a lizard man, I'm like, oh my god, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> uh, brilliant. Uh, yeah, so um, I mean, Jesus, you're looking at the teams as well, and you're thinking uh, he's probably pretty lucky that he uh, is missing uh, those two chorfs, Eludius, or um, yeah, Eludius. Uh, considering how much uh, inducements he was able to, he was giving away anyway. 
Yeah. Uh, can you imagine if there was two pretty beefy chorfs uh, in this fight as well? Yep. The thing is, though, after the wizard, nothing else is worth as much, though, right? Correct. Yeah, uh, what are your thoughts on the two babes, lads? Would you you'd both rather an, an apothecary, I, I, I'm pretty yeah. sure. With this team, probably, yeah, because he hasn't got many good players, has he? So... So with the two, and and you could also you could also like just apple the first KO. So in many ways, an extra apple is often like a couple of babes, isn't it? You know, it's in its effect in a way, if you like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you power apple the first one, because it could it could have appled this right. Not that he would have, yes. it just got fouled no. again. But sure, but, but nevertheless, in a way that the, the, it was, you know, the apple would have been even better against a KO than the babes would have been. Yeah, in a way, <laughs> potentially. Sometimes. In a way. Yep. Yeah, I mean, the well, second half KO, the babies don't do anything, do they, unless it goes all the time? That's, exactly, the, yeah. that's the thing, yeah. yeah exactly. Does he score here? Yeah, I think he might. Yeah, I have to. Yeah. So what you're saying, I mean, Jim, is that it's does. different, but the same. <laughs> it, it can be comparable. It can be a comparable, like... You know, people say, like, well, if you take an apple, you'll get loads of KOs, and if you take a, if you take babes, yeah. you'll take loads of cards. But the thing is, the apple isn't useless against KOs, is it? That's the thing, so... Mm-hmm. In that regard. Oh. Oh, Ooh, well, only how, one, how for, the, the, only the one for the elves and wow. a bull for the chorfs. Ooh. And there is the wizard in uh... play, so you know that that's the thing. The wizard's a huge a huge deal, isn't it? You know, that can make this mm -hmm. substandard eleven man team or nine now. Yep. Can still do something just because of the wizard, possibly. And because uh, we should point it out as well, because somebody in chat is going to be smart ass and go like, Oh he rolled a six on the on the wake up, so the babes are actually totally useless. <laughs> Um, that's uh, results-based thinking, so um, doesn't actually serve. Wow, Kalen, well, how do you really feel about that again? <laughs> you know, that's just my disdain for chat in general, Jackbull. <laughs> it's nothing because better, I'm in nothing a... better than a caster uh, screaming yeah. that from the top of his lungs. Well, that's the thing. I, you know, I, I'm, I don't have a stream of my own, and in order for me to pretend that I'm in any way a professional streamer, I have to blame chat for everything anyway. That's right, lads. You've, you've taught me well. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I, have just, I would like to viewers. offer. I would like to offer this disclaimer for <laughs> Kalon right now that his attitude is based solely on Blood Bowl three and cyanide. Yeah, 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 it is. Yeah, I'm just bitter. Yeah, you're just... bitter, huh? Yeah, <laughs> it's the turd, turd bitter. Are you bitter turd... about that yeah. turd? Oh, bitter? you're the turd bitter. <laughs> <laughs> the turd bitter. Oh, lads. Oh, don't get me started again. <laughs> Right, so, uh, yeah, so the quick score is uh, obviously a horrible situation for the elves, but they did have to put it in. They do have a wizard, so there's an opportunity to turn them over, but in the meantime, they're going to get fairly banged on by uh, this uh, short oh, team. Oh, he goes for the bolt, the bolt... Yep. Uh, bait. Bolt bait, that's what we've called it, to yep. be politically correct. Indeed. But that's... Uh, that's How would you say that in an unpolitically correct manner, Jim? Uh, we don't do that here. We are we are inclusive and lovely and don't well use terms that anybody could ever find offensive, even though people will find literally anything offensive these Ooh. days. <laughs> well done, good man. Thanks. Yep. Gets the pow, the full pow! Yep. Didn't scatter it, because no. um, he likes where it is, yeah, but he's going to have to... It, yeah. yeah. And a big string four boy Probably is going to run in as well. Yeah. There's no dice. Yeah. And, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Those guys don't have tackle. Yep. Lovely running around the running around the non tacklers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is looking fucked for the chaos doors, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you it's shouldn't have picked it up on the bolt bait, eh? Maybe you should have actually yeah. picked it up on your edge four sure hands. Yeah. Have our percentages changed, gentlemen? No. Oh, yeah, they have, yeah. yeah. Do you reckon? Yeah, I mean, how can they not? Look at this! Yeah, it's it's pretty... It's it's a frustrating situation for them, to be sure. The percentages are constantly in flux. Mm, yeah. yeah, they change with every action, don't they? Yeah. I'm going to give it, like... It's now only 57% to the chores. Oh, I'm, I'm giving it 57 to the high elves right now. Wow. Well, like at least... Like a at least. What do you reckon? Elliot, Elliot, res Elliot reserves the right to give his final percentage post turn 16. <laughs> um, I think I would have rerolled that hit with the wrestle. Mm. I don't know what else you're getting out of it by not doing so. Well, well I suppose he's got this. The later, I guess. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's all there but, is, isn't there? Hmm. 
Allowing you to do that 1D with a reroll available. Yeah. Allowing you to do this 2D with a reroll available. Doesn't go on yeah. the ball. I might have gone on the ball there. Yeah. Yeah. He's done a good job of trying to trap some guys in, but I mean, it's still just some three, three pluses or four pluses to, to get out in there. Ooh. Ooh. Speaking of three pluses, and well, that was only a two plus. Yep. So, so it does get the guard around. And dodges dice. Yeah, it's pretty pretty rough. Doesn't scatter because I guess he's going for something with his strength. Man. Oh, he's Ooh, just going to go going straight for the pickup. He's yeah. going to grab it, isn't he, and run it back? And run or it try back. to? Apparently. <laughs> it was a blitzer, so he did have the movement. Yeah, so he blitzed with him and he was going to move. Mm -hmm. mm. I think maybe just block with him and then try and blitz with the arch, the arch four because you have these two. This guy could have dodged off, couldn't he? Come in there, mm -hmm. then you get a 2D with the uh, 2D with a blitzer or do something else anyway. I didn't really like that. Personally. Yeah, fair play. Yeah, fair play. Gets to shove the big boy onto the onto his bull. But uh, boy. more importantly, get the uh, get the guard free. The full power on the bludger! Oh, diced. 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 If we can get this, oh, does get him down, and he decides to scatter now. Now, oh, now, massive it's, back, now it's back to 57 for the chuffs. Yeah, that's, that's an absolutely nightmarish uh, stun. Um, oh. Oh. Ooh, oh, is he using, is he assisting with the ball carrier? He is. Mm. That's not ideal. Mm, yeah, but I mean, he's, if you've got to do it, you've got to do, oh, wow, a huge dodge there without a reroll. Yeah. Mine got. Yeah. But again, he had to do it, didn't he, at the end of the day? Well, yeah, he did, yeah, but he didn't have to bring the ball that far oh. up to do all the rest of it. So. He just did a one yeah, I think he was afraid that the next person to pick up the ball with an elf in a hat yes. goes right into the end zone. He didn't have to do that. Oh, you rolled a one on the one, one on the wizard. Maybe he should have fireballed there. Not not to say that, you know, the the whiz was bad or anything, but, like, he could have thought about the the, the fireball. Like, I'm, Oh, I'm wow. Sure. That's some, there's some horrible dice for Halligan here, but you yeah. could have considered the, like, I don't know if he did consider the fireball, but you could have considered the fireball there just because, like, you know, knocking yeah. this guy down gets you two into two, doesn't it? Knocking this guy. So knocking any of these gets you 2D on the ball and everything. So, like, yep. I would have really I, thought about the fireball rather than the bolt, I, but bolt's totally fine. Bolt is uh, it, with the fact that the two guys on the bottom of the pitch are stunned. I think it, I think I would have gone with the bolt because you're not getting as much value out of uh, removing any of the other guys. But that's just me. Oh, I think it would have been fine. I think it would be fine. Yep. It, it looks like results-based thinking, but mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, I think the fact that all he had on it was a one day afterwards, right? If it failed, mm. oh, he's got to jump up on this chorf. So he should be able with the with the ball guard the. The wizard gone now, and he's going to be able to make create a bit of space here. But um, still has elves that are going to come and plague him. Yeah. I mean, they might have to make a few dice, roll a few dice, but they're not that far behind. Um. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. Yes, I mean, it was, it was, yeah. Fair play. Yeah. Like the, what he had to do was not roll the one on the boat. Uh, yeah. I, I would have considered the fireball. I don't know if I would have done the fireball, but he should have at mm -hmm, least considered mm -hmm. the fireball. I think. Yep. Oh, maybe he handed did. off there, uh, old Frenchman. <laughs> oh, you were saying because of uh, how far away he was from the end zone, but no, he's he's fine. He's he's in range. And the guard. Can this guy reach? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI, GFI, so mm -hmm. yeah, not really, so that's pretty much good enough. Yeah, boys so, trying to go through the Yeah, so I guess he was middle. going through yeah. to, to cancel. The, yeah, to cancel so that the other guy could come back, yeah. Mm -hmm. And again, just not getting the threes, right? Which is uh, unfortunate. Yep. But it does make this uh, pretty straightforward, and uh, there's a lot of elves in contact here, so he should be able to get some punches off while he's at it. Yep. Um, no GFIs to roll. Is there? Oh, there's one. One. Yeah. So at the moment we're about about eighty four point two percent for the uh, yeah. <laughs> for the chores. Yep. Yep. Could no. be all because of two single skulls, one on a lightning bolt, and <laughs> mm. yeah. Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty, just really unfortunate dice all around, really. 
Yeah. Yeah, but... I mean, not really unfortunate, because he could have had a lot more people killed, couldn't he? And, like, he only filled yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah. But, yeah, pretty critical. And, like, you know, obviously, Aludius kind of allowed it to happen by going for the bolt bait pickup rather than just relying on the edge for just secure the ball, you know, and then maybe his transfer yeah. over. But maybe it would have been better. Um, yeah. You know, Jim, there's an argument that he was actually the perfect bolt bait because he put it on the second guy and bolted the one. Yes, you can argue that. We could argue that all day long. <laughs> You'd be wrong, but you could argue it. <laughs> That's okay, I didn't buy Blood Bowl 3 with the intent to get the blood pass on day one. Yes, <laughs> yep. that, you would definitely be wrong if you did that. Yep. <laughs> yep. Imagine thinking cyanide would be even vaguely competent. That is a foolish oh, mistake. Stop making me sad. Sorry. Um, so, yeah, so the... High Elves getting the better of the rolls here. Two two missing for the Chorfs. Yeah. One missing for, but a really good one missing for the High Elves. Yeah, that's and pretty pretty key. Again. Yeah. <clears throat> Brings down the overall movement he has available as well. Mm. Um, but nevertheless, uh, do you know one all? Yeah, no, it's 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 you know, it's not great. No. <laughs> but minus a bull is a pretty big deal. If you can deal with the other bull early. Um, he might have uh, might be able to a bit of an, an opportunity, because yeah. it's a pretty bare bones team without the rest of the stuff going on. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Mister Yemendem. It's terrible, isn't it? It's it's so terrible to delay it by multiple months, multiple months, wasn't it? In a few yeah. months, it's 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 a few months. Yeah, basically unbelievable. Yes. <laughs> if it wasn't cyanide and we hadn't had all this experience of them doing it before, <laughs> it would be unbelievable. <laughs> yep. Okay. So, uh, makes the ball nice and secure. Uh, he's just going to go for a pretty straightforward pickup. Well, after he's taken these hits, because they're... Well, it's a 2 plus with a reroll for the pickup as well, but you do the punches anyway, because, yeah. You get to kill things. You got a bang. Yeah, you got a bang. Guts to. Ricky Martin um, knows how to play Blood Bowl. Bang, bang. <laughs> this was terrible by Eludius, by the way. <laughs> yep. Ooh, no, no follow there either. No, um, just, well, first of all, yeah, you, you, you beat him off if you do that, but second of all, yeah. you don't move that that up go for him. Family friendly show, Jim. Family friendly yep. show. Yeah, there's, yeah. There's, there's nothing. <laughs> this is not a family friendly show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It, really it depends what kind of family you've got. <laughs> yeah. now, you, you have heard Elliot's streams, right? His is the most family-friendly show ever. I oh, mean, 100%. Just, you know. yeah. if, just, uh... if the turd beat has got a family, then... <laughs> yeah. If you're the aristocrats, this is the place for you. Mm. There you go. German family-friendly for sure. Dude. I just love that, sorry. It's not actually bad, is it, to say that? It's just a cultural mocking is fine. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Says the Says the Brit. Yeah. I'm totally up to date with what, what cultures I can make fun of and what I can't. Germans are always fair game for Brits. <laughs> it's amazing how much we still go on about the war all the time in Britain, isn't it? Yeah. It's literally unbelievable. Or, uh, not been able to not been able to get a, a good site. Well, down it's, the it's the only major event ever to happen in England, Jim. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Jimmy stream ever Big beating. jump up hit. A lot of pushes. Ludius is going to be pretty happy with all these pushes. Mm, He's used not. plenty of his uh, players already. Yeah. Um, and he's not making any progress if that's his blitz. But sure, I suppose he doesn't have to. He just has the eight turns to score. Yeah, he's got plenty of time, hasn't he? All he's got to do is not lose it. He can't win the drive on turn two, but you can lose it. Mm hmm. There you go. <laughs> wow, dog to the dog. As, as if it's my fault. <laughs> mm hmm. Well, yeah, let's keep it like team. that. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> maybe team. Mm. Maybe. Flipping <laughs> burrito. Yeah. There you go. Um, 
So yeah, there's not a lot. There's not a lot the elves can do here, is there? This is looking really grim. It is, but uh, do you know, in the meantime, they get to bang on some dwarfs, I suppose, which is always nice. It's uh, not, not over it's in any way uh, effectual, but uh, it, it is nice though. Don't say it's over. Yeah, don't. This loner really wants to get hurt. It's the second time he's managed to pow that chorf. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's great to be getting in the way and all, but... Um, and I suppose he doesn't have a huge amount of teeth, what, with his, the remaining shorts that he has. There's only one, the two mighty blow, one of them claw. Yeah, but so he is a jump up. Actually, he's, he's jump a up, jump yeah. up claw bomber, so he's he about is, yeah. as rowdy as you can possibly fucking get. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> well, if he can roll fours. Yeah, and there's, there's, not that many, uh, there's not that many guards, so... You know, like, it's not that easy for the Charles to get that many hits, but uh, obviously... He's just going to use him to get the assist. Yep. I appreciate that he actually put a proper uh, blitz in there as well. Didn't rely on the jump up hit. Yeah, well, I mean, he's not going if he doesn't have to, is he? But it gets you the movement. Mm. That's the thing, isn't it? Though? Yeah, the movement is great. It's huge. Huge. Oh, wow. Well, mm. this seems a little unnecessarily uh, contactful. Mm. Maybe. Doesn't it? Yeah, maybe some dice can be rolled here. Yeah. But also maybe not. <laughs> no. Yeah. I would have been very tempted to go for the uh, uphill there to get the shove to shove to shove so that he could maybe go in, but it wasn't. Uh, actually, it wasn't on. I forget I said anything. <laughs> <laughs> maybe Team Antilla, maybe. Oh, rolls a one. Stupid loner, I said, wants to get hired. It went to his head, and he fills a dodge. No, at least. Yeah. This is a, this is a little bit not good. Mm-hmm. Ooh. But the problem is, does he have enough to benefit from it not being great? And probably. Yeah. Not. No, I just suppose there isn't just there just isn't enough stuff going on overall for it to be um, competitive, right? He just doesn't have the players. The thing is, he hasn't got yeah, like the supermen. Like he, yeah, he's he's exactly. down to nine or eight now. Down to yeah. eight players, and he's he's got the strength four block mighty, but strength four block tackle would be better for a start. Because <laughs> yes. you know, how's he going to get the ball now with, without the wizard? Uh, and yeah. and then so even if he can get at it, how's he going to knock it over? And then, second of all, you know, there's no hedge or anything exciting. That's right. Hardly any guard. Well, no guard because the guard had got beaten out. So there's no yep. guard. There's hardly any blood step. One blood stepper. Mm -hmm. It's rough. Just and he's also tools. managed to get a guard on either side of the cage. So well done. The tool, the tool, the one tool he had was the wizard, really. And yes. It fizzled. It fizzled, yeah. yeah. Well, gets rid of a player there. Mm. For a stun, so that's a little bit of uh, of equity going his way. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Yemen Dem. I'll still be alive in 15 years, probably. Won't have. I'm 42 now. I'll be 57 then. 29. So, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I'll be. I'll still. I'll be 29 in 15 years. I'll still be alive. Yep. <laughs> Is it your 33rd year of uh, of being on this earth? I don't know. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't turn into a toe. What the hell? Why you, would might, I you might do. You, <laughs> you never know. You don't know what could happen. <laughs> don't say it's over. Might still turn into a toe. <laughs> we, got some, we got some rowdy Stegosaurus brain thinking going on in the background here. Day five thousand are waiting to turn into a toe. <laughs> it's finally happening. <laughs> <laughs> massive, massive watermelon-sized brains here. Right. <laughs> Yeah, these uh, pushes are uh, really starting to slow him down big time. Mm. Um, we can get a nice little thing in here, but he's probably going to have to drop a foul on one of these boys again. And uh, and if he gets another send off, it could be trouble. It could be. Super exciting. Yeah. Kind of is. Yeah. Super interesting. Sorry, so I shouldn't have said super exciting. Super interesting. Yeah, super interesting. Super interesting. Mm. Yes, well, doesn't put in the foul, but yeah. But yeah, it's, put some blood tight, steppers on these. The well, say some the yeah. one blood stepper can, yeah. can go yeah. on the ball, and all of yeah. the tacklers are occupied. 
There you go. Nice little oh, stun here. It'd be lovely as well. Down. Okay. Yeah. That's well, the guy I was I was hoping he was I thought he was going to foul him and then he just didn't. Yeah. Like is blitzing him is a bit mental because by blitzing him it it, it gives him the blitz off whereas if you blitz this guy then you're basing the ball with right, right, and right. he can't hit you. So that was a bit yep. weird but by rolling up by rolling the stone he just gets super lucky and it's fine. He right. also needs to tag this guy. Yeah. And you can't tag them all unfortunately. Oh wow. Yay. Ooh, full removal. Ooh, does he appo it? Yeah, yeah he, he does. does. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Huge turn. Yeah, massive turn. And, uh, I mean, it's just a, to be fair, it's a one in thirty-six dodge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not even yeah. it's not, it's even, not even on tackle or anything. It's just, it doesn't do anything yeah. for you. For sure. Have it out for October twenty twenty in line with the Blood Bowl twenty twenty release. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, Raven. Yeah, that's that's absolutely true, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that was it. Mm -hmm. It was the cyanide announcement is what alerted everybody to the fact there would be to the a new, new game. There would be a new yep. release of Blood Bowl. Yeah. Oh, it's been years, hasn't it? Years and years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was supposed well, to no, come no, out. That all depends. Are we yeah. talking dog years? Because now we're what twenty one? Twenty one. Fever years, uh, chat. Well, fever years. <laughs> yeah. Fever given, years, given and it's only are, been yeah. six months. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Good. Um. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, people oh, are talking about Blood Bowl getting a new edition next year. People who have like been reliable in the past with information yeah. have said that there will be one. So that's pretty that, uh, crazy. That is the information I have been given as well. Yeah. Mm. How how many more times can you change the rules? <laughs> oh well, I mean they could they could do quite a lot with this. <laughs> <to be laughs> do, but I mean, you, do you know where I'm coming from here? <laughs> sure. <laughs> It would be one thing to add new races and or add new maybe a skill or two here or there as a selection, but to like, okay, let's revamp this whole thing again, boys. I mean, that's what they do every four years with Warhammer and 40k, right? So, yeah, it's pretty yes. easy. It is yeah. pretty easy. Well, those those are more adjustments for meta, though, versus no, no. rewriting it, isn't it? No. No, no they're no. mostly rewriting, mostly yeah. Rewriting, yeah. yeah. Are they? Okay, because I, I haven't played 40k in friggin' ages. Yeah. yeah, it's so one of the benefits of rewriting it is that you get to sell a different uh, rule book for every single race. So they rewrite the whole thing from scratch mostly. Um, there's still kind of, you know, uh, certain game mechanics that will stay the same. I mean, you know, things still move the way they move and what have you. And you still roll dice for appropriate thing but how you do it and the sequences and stuff is all what is they all can do is you see what, what they'll be able to do for the next one is they'll be they'll be able to say oh look the pass we've we've revamped passing by combining the passing stat and the agility stat and only having one we've streamlined it isn't this brilliant <laughs> you know? that's what, that's what it's brilliant and yeah. then, and oh. Oh, oh i mean that would be brilliant it would yeah it literally oh, would oh yeah. lads it literally would be brilliant if they did that. So yeah. And here's your plastine uh, 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 passing guide that you put over the top of the thing. Don't don't mind the fact that it's shaped like a lightning bolt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I could see them doing that, and and then in the next edition, say we're going to separate, <laughs> we're going to revolutionize passing by making a new stat called passing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we could do that. Like tanks have, the, have been the big one in 40k. Like not the last few editions sure. I've been playing. But like the ones before I stopped playing, tanks were mm. the big thing that changed a lot, right, in between editions. Hugely, so, yeah. And it looks like the tenth ed, the rumors I've read for tenth ed, it looks like they're going to change dramatic, dr drastically as well. Mm. So, so that's the big thing they do. That's the biggest, the biggest changes in 40k have generally been tanks. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So, so you know, Blood Bowl changes could be based around how you level up. Yeah. Um, are you saying are you saying tanks or tanks? <laughs> no, yeah, I was, I was, as I was, as I was saying, I was trying to think. Can I work something in here? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or a casual Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade reference there. <laughs> yeah, the removing the toughness stat is pretty much what I was talking about. Render, yep, it looks quite likely from the people I've talked to. Mm. Um, yep, so there's no more toughness stat on anything that isn't a vehicle. Um, so you just once you hit you, you that's you just do wins. Oh wow. Yeah. Weird. It's to streamline the whole game. Take out the wound roll. But <laughs> but how does that work? How do you mean? Well <laughs> so, so you make you make it harder to hit with a last gun than it is to hit with a last cannon. 
No, no, no. It's so if it's a vehicle, it still has the uh, toughness, right? So if, if yes, you but if it's not a like... vehicle, you said if it's not a vehicle, they could run away with toughness. So yeah, therefore, so it just, is it, it easier to hit well. with? Is it easier to hit with a las gun than it is to hit with a las cannon? Then no, uh, because the uh, well, that's well. It's so it's the same. It's fuck. the same role to. It's the same role to hit on either. In a, regardless of what you're shooting, it's what it's whether or not it does damage. To that the is thing stupid as Is fuck. dependent on the second part of the role, which is the role to to, to wound. Yeah, but you've just said they've taken away toughness. Also, what? Also, last can just wound on a two plus versus anything, then or what? No. no so. Oh, I don't. I don't. Wound. Anyway, it's fucking stupid. Yeah, I. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I've got no interest in this. This is meant to be. After yeah, all that, Jimmy know. comes up yeah, with the fact that he really doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I could have it's saved a waste some time. Of time if you'd let yeah, me it's... actually answer. No, but it's yeah. it's just stupid. It's just stupid. I'm not sure. gonna. Uh, no. Yeah. It's, oh, it's fun in the cast, sake. isn't it? And I realized it was. And stupid. another. Uh, another. Oh shit, dude. Can yeah, this guy roll anything spell. that isn't a one that doesn't matter? Yeah. Wow. <sighs> he rolled a lot of he rolled a lot of ones. Yeah. A lot of ones. Oh, and we only really so. noticed him because they were such pivotal rolls, you know? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, he was really he was really pretty dice. Everybody right. will tell you that they that they roll lots of skulls, but it only matters when they appear. Yeah, exactly. I mean yeah. yeah, not to take it too too much from um Eludius who, you know, played what was in front of him and that was all fine. Uh, maybe the um, ball protection for the wizard to turn was uh, uh, not ideal, but overall, um, Eludius, you know, did the things. It wasn't his fault that <laughs> poor old uh, Halligan couldn't roll to save his life. It's funny, it was just the critical ones that write everything else as a power, so he's actually rolled totally normally, in fact, well, yeah. overall, but just all the yeah. crucial things were skulls. Yeah. Funny, isn't it? Another um, reason why uh, looking at the dice log is a waste of fucking time. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, Eludius' team was better. And, uh, yep. you know, really, he just needed yep. to roll well and his wizard to roll well. And yeah, but are, are we having the same exact conversation if that wizard doesn't skull? Well, exactly. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's the thing. The big, you know, that, that's, swing, that, was, that was the role of the game right there, right? Yep. Yeah. That's what yep. he needed. Um, right, so there you go. Congratulations, Eludius. Commiserations, Halligan. Thank you very much to Kaelon, Elliot, and Jack Bull. Glorious having you all in the booth. <laughs> Cheers. Not sure how much I contributed. Well, Bye now. Um, you, yeah, dude. <laughs> Loads. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, Bye everyone. Now. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fan-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-tastic. <laughs>